tutorial is brought to you by PostBargain.com. 3D props at bargain prices. Okay, this is just a small tutorial for semi-beginners. Basically, this means for people who know a little bit about Lightwave first. So I'm going to show you how to quickly make a sword in Lightwave, but I won't go into too much detail. Once you see how simple it is, you can make your own modifications to get a more unique look with a stylish flair. We start off with a simple shape of half the blade. You can make this however you want. You could create a simple spline for example, then freeze the spline and convert it into a polygon. Or you could take a flat disc shape, remove and align some of the points and extrude the bottom to get the shape. It doesn't matter how you do it as long as you get the shape you want in a polygon form and that the center points are aligned at zero on the X axis. I also like to add an extra polygon which will act as a blade guard of sorts. Now, if we use the lathe tool with the default settings on the Y axis, we get this. But we are not making a meat skewer, so we have to change one of the values. Undo until you are back to your flat half blade polygon shape and activate the lathe tool again. Press N to bring up the numeric window and change the number of sides to 4. That's more like it. Before we move on to the next step, the blade needs to be flattened a bit. So, using the scaling tool, thin the blade out until it looks like a proper blade. There are a number of different ways of making the guard, but we'll stick to something simple. Here's a simple shape which will basically be the cross section of half the guard. It's not complex really. Just remember to keep the center points at zero on the X axis. Again, we use the lathe tool with four sides to give us a squarish guard. If you want, you can set the number of sides to 24 or 36 to get a circular guard. It's really up to you. Either way, you're done. The grip, or as I prefer to call it the handle, uses the same technique as the blade and the guard. There are two parts of the grip for me, the center and the grip. I like to add a bit of a bulge to the grip shape for a bit of variety. Again, use the lathe tool to turn your cross section into a full 3D mesh. However, the number of sides is set to 36, so you get a rounded mesh. And, like with a blade, we use the scale tool to flatten the grip a bit. It should be flattened on the same axis as the blade. Oh, and don't overdo it. Just imagine that you had to grip the thing yourself, so it shouldn't be too thin or too round. Lastly, we need to make the end bit of the hilt, which is known as the pommel. To make this, you need to go into an empty layer. Okay, so here's the flat 2D cross section which I made with some disc shapes and extrusions. Making sure the center points are set to zero on the X axis, get the lathe tool active again and set the sights to 36. You should get this odd UFO shape when you are done with the lathe tool. This is great and everything, but we need to put it in its place. So set your first layer as your background layer. Then, scale and rotate the pommel mesh so that it fits nicely at the end of the sword grip. Just a little tip or two that will make this easier. First, try setting the action center to selection. Second, by pressing R, you automatically rotate your selection by 90 degrees depending on the axis your mouse is on. And finally, by holding the control key when using some of the transformation tools such as scale, move and rotate, you will restrict the movement of that transformation, making it easier to get the correct changes you want. Then, cut the pommel and paste it back onto the first layer to complete your sword. You might need to make slight changes to the parts of your sword so that everything is in proportion. I also encourage you to add things to the mesh, like bolts and decorative shapes to make the sword look cooler. So, now you see how easy it can be to make a simple sword just with a little help from the lathe tool. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I wish you luck on your future Lightwave Sword projects. Mm -hmm.